to bring up is we have two people more to put on this mm. committee. And for a brief rundown, we had two seats that went uncontested out there, one for two year and one for three year. Michael, we actually had three approximately 300 votes, but they were all separate votes for separate people. And Michael Pierce had the majority of votes for both seats. Now, for anybody who followed with Jerry Sonoy last year when he was elected to the school board and elected to the budget committee, it was his choice which one he would choose. But that actually takes, did they make you take it and resign? Or you just passed, you just picked which position you wanted, Michael? I don't understand the question, which positions you're talking about. You became about. the top voter for the three year and you became the top voter. Oh yes, I had three choices in <laughs> relation to that. I thought you were talking about, talking about school board. I couldn't figure out what juries or no I had to do with this. Sorry, I didn't follow your line of thinking there. No, I could choose between the three year, the two year, or no position. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you chose the three year. This could be longer than we thought. It <laughs> That's okay. We got all you chose the three-year, <laughs> but effectively what happened is the election was over and you had won the two-year seat too. So for anybody looking to try to understand why this now becomes an appointment, it was because somebody was elected to the seat. But the seat is now vacant and is, will be served by appointment. I was told by the town clerk the next highest vote getter would normally get it. However, that's what she said now. Jane. Jane well, she, she's got, she said that, but the reason why she didn't pick one was because all the candidates were too close together to call one. It That's what she said verbatim. I think what she meant by normally is that normally the committee does that appointment yes. for the next. Yeah. Yeah. We've asked Jane, I've asked Jane for the list of everybody who <coughs> No, she wouldn't be picking the next vote getter. Um, no, because it, I, I got the other position that would cancel me out and therefore I would some, the next highest vote getter for the two year would get it. It wouldn't be up to the budget committee, it would be up to the, mm -hmm. who had no, the highest no, vote. No, no, no. That's what she said. Yeah, you can no, argue with her. That's why we're correcting it out here. We spent. Well, I don't agree with that deduction. Well, it's, it's, it's easy yeah. because if you think about it this way, the winner of the two year seat mm -hmm. was ineligible to serve. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's meaning Michael. Yeah. Right. Meaning you. Right. And you just like yeah. if the winner of an election dies, the guy that came in second doesn't assume the position. Exactly. <laughs> this is this is a a strong point, and well, I think you better check with Jane before you broadcast to the public. Well, cause that's it, what she oh said. No, oh no, she's, she's told me the same thing. Okay, oh. and I did check with Jane last year, mm -hmm. and we consulted Jane and I when we were in that position with Jerry Zanoy, which is why I bring it up. And as it was last year, with the consultation with Jane, is how it will be this year. And these two seats will be appointed. So I want everyone to know, do, will, we will have, I will have a list of everyone who was voted for. However, I am also aware of the fact that not everyone who was voted for actually wanted to run. You have people who voted for people who were totally unaware they'd been voted for. So that being said, and anybody listening out there, if you keenly would love to be on this committee, and we would keenly love to have you put yourself out there and consider you. But so that it's not hearsay, please apply in writing by March 31st. We have two seats available. You can send it either in an email, we'll accept an email, or send a letter to um, the town manager at town hall and we will decide on at the next meeting. I think like we did last year when Dave came on board with us, it was after the election and for the next meeting, our April meeting, which is the third Tuesday of the month, um, we will assemble our candidates, those looking to fill those two seats. And again, as we did tonight, with both these gentlemen, let them. It'll be a one three year seat and one two year seat, right? No, no both no. both seats will, be, will be for one year. One year. One year. As you filled in this this last year, as, as 
David filled in this last year, it's a one-year seat okay. to the next election because it's by appointment. Madam Chair, we don't meet until April 15th. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if we can move that deadline up a little closer to April 15th to give people more time. The only way we can do that is if we have another meeting and then we're going to have to find a spot in the schedule. No, no, no. Instead of having a deadline for their submission March 31st, why not have their deadline for submission on April 14th? That way we have a little more time to get people to uh, sign up. I don't have a problem with the deadline one way or the other. I thought by having it at least a week out, I can right. assemble April a list yeah. from the town manager and send it off to all of you. And you can give us some thought. And April 8th and April 7th, whatever. All right. So How is the second position created? This second vacancy, you just explained explain that. Mm -hmm. You explained the first one is because of the two-year opening. No, Mark did the second, the second position was, was Mark McFarland. Oh, okay. and Mark okay. McFarland. I just wanted to clarify that. Right, Mark resigned mm -hmm. after the, the deadline for the election. Okay. So that became that an automatic the appointment. That the position. Okay, thank I, you. By Mike being elected to both mm -hmm. positions. I understand that one. That one is. Yeah, I How that one I goes. So that Mark had resigned. I just want people to be clear it's by appointment, but even though it's by appointment, we vote on it here. Mm -hmm. So um, still a democratic yeah. process. Mike, just to clarify a little bit, uh, I called the Secretary of State mm -hmm. to try and get the, his opinion on this write in thing. Mm -hmm. And the opinion from him is that if the highest write in voter declines, mm -hmm. It does not necessarily go to the next one down. No matter whether it's one vote, two votes, or 26, mm -hmm. it does not go down to the next one. Mm -hmm. It becomes an appointed position. RSA 3215, mm -hmm. municipalities where members are uh, elected at large, vacancies shall be filled by appointment by the Budget Committee. Persons appointed to fill vacancies shall serve until the next annual meeting at which time a successor shall be elected or appointed to either fill the unexpired term or start a new term. So it doesn't follow that the next one down. That's well, I was only one. quoting. I didn't have my opinion. I well, made sure I said that. It's not of my State. opinion, right. and I'm familiar with 32 because it also doesn't say when. In other words, you can wait until the next election and just forget about it if you so choose. No, the law requires mm. Okay? But I wasn't quoting Michael Pierce. I was quoting the official person of the records Jane. But even on the co well, I'm not the belabor. I'm not gonna, I don't want to argue about right. it, but I'm just so saying that's where I got the quote. Richard, thank okay, you for that. Right. Thank you. The law, the law I got a question. Never mind. Do you I don't think we twice? have to leave. We, we did this battle last year. We yeah, don't have to go. do it two years ago. Right. Okay.